All right, well, I did a test run to see if this recorded first because the last two times it didn't stick. So I'm headed off to work Monday morning, April 20th. I'm doing a Monday night Facebook Live tonight and it'll be on Theology of the Body and the Spiritual Life. Uh, you can go to at Matt Simmons Spiritual Direction on Facebook and click in at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. But I want to talk today a little bit about this Theology of the Body and the Spiritual Life. You know, theology of the body has unfortunately been reduced to marriage and sex. Some say that this is the very thing that's going to put the great behind St. John Paul II. This document, Theology of the Body, is one of, if not the most important document to come in this last century. The reason is because one of the things we've lost in the church, in the Catholic Church anyway, is the whole idea of relationship. We have reduced things to theological, intellectual truths and forgot about relationship. That's why the new evangelization is in full swing and it's both challenging people, particularly those who may be more traditionally minded, but then it's also consoling those who have felt unseen, misunderstood, kicked around, rejected, abandoned, and otherwise not helped by the church very effectively. Theology of the body is at the root and center of everything I do. Why? Because it's about relationship. And if you don't understand relationship, you can't help other people be in relationship with God or with others. And both those things comprise the spiritual life. Catechism says we pray as we live and we live as we pray. So those two things go together hand in hand. We have to love God here. We have to be in relationship with him here. And that leads to relationship with others right? And vice versa. Sometimes we learn about God from the people in our life, and that opens the doorway to lead to a greater intimacy with him. It's, it's a little dance between the two, relationship with God, relationship with others. And so tonight, I want to get into some more specifics regarding theology of the body and the spiritual life. So some of the things we'll talk about are relational dynamics. The two dynamics of a relationship are giving and receiving. And if we're not giving and receiving well, we're not going to be able to have an intimate relationship with God or with another person. We'll talk a little bit about who men were created to be, who women were created to be, that women are made, and you can see this in their body, primarily to be receptive, primarily to receive, that men, you can see in their body, are made primarily to give. Some of this can challenge some of the notions we have out there in the world of masculinity and femininity. Well, all of this will culminate probably, we'll see. You know, you kind of plan these things out, like this is where I wanna go and this is what's gonna happen, but it doesn't always go that way. You know, the Holy Spirit moves, people have questions and things change a little bit, but my hope is that where we'll end up is about the giving and receiving with God. The reality of looking at a man and a woman, one's made primarily to give, the other one's made primarily to receive, and how that relates to us as the bride and him as the bridegroom, that he's made primarily to give to us and we're made primarily to receive. And that's really what prayer is, is according to Pope Benedict XVI, is pure receptivity to God's grace. It's staying in a place of openness and vulnerability. That's really the work of the spiritual life. So we'll talk about all that tonight and crazy start to the day. Elijah, my one and a half year old, was in an epic way today. Melty, screamy, just freaking all over the place. Back to classes today, so the kids are not necessarily into that. It's supposed to be like sunny and 70 here today. But I heard they have like a hide and go seek or a scavenger hunt or something from school. That's pretty cool. Better than sitting there doing worksheets all day. Please pray for me. Got appointments today. And uh, come join us tonight, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. If you search on Facebook, at Matt Simmons Spiritual Direction, at 7 p.m., you will find the Facebook Live link. You can click in and join us there. If you can't make it tonight at 7 p.m., it will be recorded and posted for the public online. Have a great day.